Well, good morning. This is Tyler from TarverAcademy.com. Don't forget to subscribe and let's learn something. Okay, so I want to talk to you today about how to uh, pretty much voice type in Google Docs. Okay, the first thing you can do is go to you know, your Drive account. So it's drive.google. I just pointed to the screen. You can't see my hand. Drive.google.com. It's going to take you to your Google Drive, or if you have a short link, I've got mine right there. Whatever. Just go to Google Drive. Once you get there, you're going to open up a new doc. So over on the left, we hit new, create a doc. It doesn't have to be a new doc, okay? It could be a doc you already have open. You could you can have docs on docs on docs, anywhere you want. So we're in our Google Doc, and this is just like your little your little Microsoft Word document if you're into like, I don't know, 2007. But if you're into today's world, you can type on this little guy. I'm going to just type in there. Bleep, blah, bloop, just like you would type a paper. Now, to voice type, all you do is you go up to Tools, go to Voice Typing, it's right here. It's also got a short link, so you can hit Command Shift S and go to it if you're on a um, if you're on like a like a PC or something on the Windows. I think it'd be like Control Shift S, but you type that, hit that. It's gonna pop this little guy over here. Okay, you can choose the language that you speak. I speak English, as you can tell. It's like an English, but also with like a Southern twang to it. And so this is where I would sit and I can move that around if I want, but mine, I think default pops up here. All you do is click on the little microphone and you can start talking. So I'm gonna move my cursor there, click this, it'll turn red like this, and then I can just talk through and it'll type my whole paper. Um, since I do have an accent, as you may have noticed, whenever I want to type things like accent instead of accident, I will talk like this, like a robot, like I am talking a, like a version of Siri. It would help to do this. Now, one of the cool things that you can do is if you want to end a sentence, you can just say period, and then it will start another sentence, as you can tell from my text. If you want to say go to the next line or return, return, oh, well, I thought it did that. Maybe it doesn't, but it does do a period, period. See, look at that. I'm ending sentences, exclamation point. This is exciting, question mark? See, that's good stuff. Okay, so that's how you voice type on Google. If you wanna stop doing that, um, you just click the little button and it'll take off the voice typing. Um, look, look at that, new line. That's what it was, got it. Thanks for the tip, Google. Did y'all see that? You can say period, I already told them that. But you can also say new line, so let's try that. This is a sentence that I'm saying with my words, new line. Hello everyone, this is something, oh it didn't do it. New line, do a new line Google, what are you doing with your brain? It's okay, you at least do your periods. <laughs> Period, there we go. So that's how you do it. Now the cool thing is that you can still type and hit return and all those things while you're doing this. So that's it, the end. So you can correct it as you're typing it if something's happening. So that's how you voice type. Uh, please don't forget to subscribe. It's that little button that says subscribe. And um, you know what? Just keep doing you, boo-boo. You're amazing. Bye-bye.